suppose t is linear transformation and t of the given input vector equals the given output vector. We're asked to determine the dimensions of the corresponding transformation matrix. Well, notice how the input vector has five components and the output vector has six components. And therefore, this is a transformation from R5 to R6. Looking at our notes below, if we have a transformation from Rn to Rm given by T of x equals A times x, then matrix A is an M by N matrix and all the vectors x are in Rn. So notice how when mapping from Rn to Rm, N is a number of columns in the transformation matrix and M is a number of rows in the transformation matrix. So in our case, notice how N is equal to five and M is equal to six and therefore the transformation matrix is a six by five matrix. For the second example, notice the input vector has six components and the output vector has three components. Here we have a transformation from R6 to R3. Where from our notes, N is equal to six and M is equal to three, indicating the transformation matrix is a three by six matrix. The other option would be to actually look at the product of matrix A and the input vector equaling the output vector. So let's also do that. So here on the right, the transformation of the input vector is equal to, let's call it some matrix A times the input vector, which is equal to the output vector. Where matrix A would be an M by N matrix. The input vector is written as a five by one matrix and the output vector is written as a six by one matrix. For a quick review, when multiplying two matrices, in order for the multiplication to be defined, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix, and then the outer dimensions determine the dimensions of the product. So going back to our example, in order for the multiplication to be defined, notice N must equal five, and then the product would be an M by one matrix, which is a six by one matrix, and therefore M is equal to six. The transformation matrix must be a six by five matrix. And then for the second example, again, we have the transformation matrix times the input vector equals the output vector. Well, the input vector is a six by one column matrix, and the product is a three by one column matrix, and the transformation matrix, we'll call it matrix A, is an M by N matrix. In order for the multiplication to be defined, notice N must equal six. And then because the product is a three by one matrix, M must equal three. The transformation matrix must be a three by six matrix. I hope you found this helpful.